past Thursday evening, I went to the Church of St. Francis Xavier for a 6.30 p.m. Mass on All Saints Day. This was not a regular Sunday Mass, so I was actually grateful that a program was provided as it was All Saints Day on the liturgical year. The liturgical music in this Mass started off with the Litany of the Saints, which is a piece we've been hearing often in class, so I could relate to it. Um, I also liked how the how all the saints were mentioned in the beginning. Um, the three purposes of the music, to give thanks, to offer praise, and to pay respect, was evident in all of all the texts of the music. But the music in this mass also felt more celebratory than usual, like this one. On a 6.30 p.m. Mass on a Thursday, I was surprised to see so many people there. People stood up or kneeled down pretty much the entire Mass, and they were singing throughout, even during the brief bread and wine walk. Great hospitality as well. Um, I expected the music to be very good after I saw the high ceilings, but unfortunately it was not. They had huge balcony spaces left unused and instead had a huge choir on the corner. Especially because it was All Saints Day, I anticipated the music to be more traditional with plain chants and Latin hymns, but I found them to be fairly modern with an attempt to keep it like traditional using polyphonic and homophonic techniques. But the cantor's voice was clearly sticking out from the congregation and these attempts just didn't click with me. Maybe because I've already heard the Marble College at Mass music, this one felt more relaxed and as though sung by locals than by professionals. I can tell that they're enjoying, but in terms of music, there was a disconnect to that bliss and that association that liturgical music is supposed to provide. <laughs> Um, in conclusion, it was another good experience in understanding how important the role of liturgical music is in Catholic Mass.